distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Jason. Uh, I'm from CCIC in New Zealand. Today, uh, I'm very pleasure to be meet you here. Uh, my topic is driving your success. First, I will introduce CCIC Group and the CCIC in New Zealand. Then, I will talk the opportunity between the trade with China. And then, I will briefly introduce the regulation of general trade and e-commerce and how to comply export goods to China. And finally, we will show you some case how we help our business partner to, to be uh, safety, happy and easy to export and trade in China. CCIC stands for China Certification and Inspection Group, which is the largest state-owned company in China, state-owned certification and inspection company in China. CCIC was founded in 1980 as a government agency at that time, and then turned into uh, independent third party in 2002. CCIC has become an international company. We have more than 30 overseas branches, including New Zealand, and uh, we have more than 30 laboratories and uh, over 22,000 full time employees of the world. In China, each province or main port, they all have the CCIC teams there. CCIC's service involve the industry not only the agricultural and the food products, but the consumer products, electric and the electronic products, uh, environment, medicine, uh, and so on, which broadly relate to our lives. In the age of Internet Plus, we also expand our business to global product traceability and e-commerce service. CCIC in New Zealand was founded in 1993 and 100% owned by CCIC Group. We have the office based on Auckland and Christchurch. We provide certification, inspection, testing, consultation, to facilitate the trade between New Zealand and China. For the certification, including the HASP, GMP, China Organic, ISO 9000, etc. Let's move on the opportunity of China market. The chart shows that New Zealand goods and service export to China increased hugely in the past five years from around 12,000 million to more than 70,000 million. In 2017, the amount of export goods from New Zealand to China takes 8% of total imported in China. But they have, they are still a great potential growth of New Zealand product export to China. When we look deeply, daily products occupy more than half of the percentage. Rock and the wood products takes up about a quarter share, meet with 14% and uh, seafood has 5% and 2% of food. The question is, there are lots of products exported from New Zealand to China. Are they all have compliance and the permit? The data from AQISIQ shows that in 2017, there are 81 batches of food value at the China port, which increased 122%. Then, Two thousand sixteen. 
Among of them, 16 batches with Chinese label problem and 31 batches of testing failure. Furthermore, due to New Zealand's product become more and more popular in China, here came with the counterfeit problem. For example, even New Zealand APR MPI has released its scientific definition of Manuka honey. It is still impossible for consumers to distinguish real Manuka honey in the market. A broader own of Minona water, tell me. The counterfeit Minona water was found with the same bottle and the same label in the China market. A distributor of facial mask found the counterfeit products with different packing, but the same brand name and the same manufacturer on online store. So, to how to protect the brand and the product in China market is become an important concern. At the first day of 2019, China government just implemented the China's comprehensive e-commerce law, which brings more pressure on online retail company to fight the sale of counterfeit and copycat merchandise on their platform. The well-known clause about e-commerce, King Mall International, take in immediately action to launch CCIC's service and bring CCIC translate label to their product. The product can only export through e-commerce It should be on the retail list, which published by China Costco. Now the full name is GACC, the General Administration of uh, Customer of China. There are about 1,000 1, items on the list, and that can be exported to China by e-commerce. If we choose to export China by general trade, we should cons concern two things. One is the uh, quality assays of animal and plant products. The other is the manufacturing registration in China. According to China safety for the safety law, the overseas exporter producer should ensure the food and the food related activities and the related products export to China must be conformed to the food safety law and also be responsible for the content of food labels and the product menus. As we mentioned of CNCA or GACC, now have moved to G under GACC uh, management. There is a sample of register, registered manufacturing list, which show company's name, registration address, type, and the product of approval. This product include dairy, meat, and aquatic. And under the T, here is too small. They have a remark here. This mark, this company have, have the China organic certification. Actually, if you have already have China Hasper GMP organic certification, will be helpful to be legislated in China.
Here is the China Registration and the Testing GB stand example. The Food Safety National Standard of Hangye is GB14963. The Hangye export to China should comply with this standard. Usually, the GB stand including the test method, which is different with New Zealand stand. Chinese label is one of the most important part for the exporting. There are nine key elements should be sure on Chinese label, uh, such as product name, ingredient, place of origin, manufacturing and expiry date, etc. Some people think that Chinese label is just the translating work, but it definitely uh, misunderstood. We will discuss the further in case study later. There are many organic products made in New Zealand. Uh, is this organic product can export to China with the organic mark? According to the China regulation, the product with the New Zealand's organic certificate. When export to China, it should, should also need a China HASP certificate. Okay, let's look at the case study to see how CCIC helping our business partner. The first case is about the Chinese label assessment and design. As we mentioned, the Chinese label is not just a translation work. We need to do the original label risk evaluation and the ingredient assessment and then formulation consultation. Moreover, conformity test about the quality and the nutrition value is also suggested. They are collect sample of milk powder, water, and fresh milk. The other examples are com not compliant with China's regulation. For the water uh, with the pH value of 9.5, that is over the limited 6.5 to 8.5 of GB stand. And the origin label of the cellular product is marked no artificial color or flavoring. It's not, not compliant with the China requirement. Next is an Example for honey inspection and testing. CCIC can help our business partner to do the pre testing before shipment. This you can know the product is qualified or not to be allowed to export so we will reduce the risk of failure in China port or market. Most honey producer a honey blend who is usually concerned about safe for sugar. The standard limit is equal or small than seven. So after the doing the testing, our client will have confidence to know whether their product can export to China safely and the nutrition information on the Chinese label is collected. CTIC also help our business partner to do the pre-shipment inspection to make sure the quality, quantity of collector packing and the safety loading of your shipment. We will record all the documents and take photos step by step. We provide the quality approval certificate and the trustability label will help our client to export their goods smoothly and easily. At the last few slides, we will show you CCIC trustability system 
looks like and how it works for our business partner. Actually, the transferability system makes significant change on product trust. Each product can bring its own certificate of CCIC. Firstly, when you scan the QR code, you can see there is the main page of our trustability system. Our trust trustability label with antifit code, which can ensure your product's authenticity. The result when you scan the we're sure that you are the first scan or the next. If you are the next, we are sure you what time is the first scan and you and uh, you uh, what numbers had been searched. It can help the consumer to buy the authenticity product and uh, help the consumer identify the reliability of the product. The system will also apply, uh, provided the display page to show manufacturer's information, the product introduction, and the brand story as well. Even you can put a displayed video on the system to enhance brand loyalty and awareness. We also provided Customize the transparency information display. We about uh, you can trust about the inspection certificate, COA, logistic uh, information, etc. Yeah. The system have many uh, derivative functions. If you have interesting, we will talk later. We have some samples there. You can scan. You can try. We all know they go. The China consumer can buy New Zealand product and receive by small parcel. We CCIC also offer small parcel transferability system to certify the parcel delivered from New Zealand. The small parcel can also to be certified to trace each process of slow whole supply chain, including purchase website, the inspection or location, packing and the dispatching. Will be all monitored and the related data will be displayed by scan the QR code on the export we bill. All these measures will make the overseas online ship true, more easy and reliable. There are some of CCIT New Zealand's partners. Uh, I'm sorry for many of our clients' logo was were not displayed. In today's world, no one can leave others alone and succeed and happy alone. I hope we can work together one plus one more than two for success, for your success and for the more reliable world. Thank you for your time. Thank you to Judy and the Scout.com to organize the forum. Thank you.